Hello, my lovely friends. This is Pamela, and I wanted to show you what I have been doing the last few weeks. I haven't been in the groove of crafting a lot, especially not doing videos, but I have been doing little things to kind of build my stash, and so I thought I would share with you in a series of really short videos things that I've been doing and that maybe you've already done, and if you haven't, it'll be an idea for you. Um, so I took a lot of my scraps and just the little pieces which I saved, and I just sat while I was watching t um, a video, and DVDs, and just ruffled them. So I have a slew of them in this bag. And then um, when I got a whole bunch of them in the bag, then I took them to the sewing machine and I stitched them. So I have all these paper ruffles made from all different kinds of paper, some that I've dyed myself, some wallpaper, uh, music paper, book pages, gift wrap, scrapbooking paper. Um, this is like a vellum, a really lightweight vellum. And so they are great for embellishing just about anything. Um, here I've got some ledger paper. So it doesn't, it kind of looks like a lot in here, but then when you stitch them all down, <laughs> they're flat. So this I think is like 90 to 100 scraps. And that's about what's in here. So once you stitch them, they are much flatter and much easier to store. But it's another scrap buster and stash builder. So I have lots of little ruffles ready to go. And then you can just kind of play with them and, you know, bend them a little bit if you want. But I don't try and make them perfect. I just, I don't really even watch when I'm doing them because I'm watching a movie. So they just all come out different, but they are ready to go and be used as ephemera in journals. So wanted to share that with you. Give this a try if you haven't already. And if you have something similar that you do, let me know about it because I'd love to give it a try too. Alrighty, I will talk to you soon. Bye.